There we are. You can probably hear, hear me even more clearly now than before. So, firstly, welcome to the licensing subcommittee this morning, and you are very welcome. If when you've stopped speaking, speaking, you turn the microphone off, because if we have too many on at once, then none of them work is the, uh, is the joy of it. And as always, we'll just start with some quick introductions. I'm David Barker. I'm chairing the subcommittee this morning. And to my right and left are the members of the committee. Would you like to introduce yourselves, please? Shall I try again? Oh, for the third time. <laughs> I'm Councillor Sean Admire Richards and I'm Councillor for Manor and Castle. Councillor Ian Horner, I'm Councillor for Bait. And the eagle eyed of you will have spotted there are quite a few other people in the room. I'll just ask them to introduce themselves and explain why they're here. Uh, starting with Sam. There we go. Morning, Samantha Bond, legal advisor to the subcommittee. Morning, I'm Mitchell Wibley, also a legal advisor to the committee. I'm Joanne Cooper from Democratic Services. I'm Shimla Finch from the Licensing Service, and I'll be a brief and report today. Uh, yeah, Mark Platts, landlord, 643 Ecclesaw Road. Uh, hello everyone, Nuret Ian Gallivan, actually the applicant, 645-647 Exeter Brothers. Great, and again, welcome to the Licensing Subcommittee, you are very welcome. We do have a fairly straightforward and set procedure for these meetings, which is certainly on the back page of our pack and probably on, on the back page of your pack of papers, if, if you've got the papers. And you will notice that at point four of that, it says the solicitor to the committee will outline the procedure, so could I ask Sam to outline the procedure, please? So yeah, just as the chair said, right at the back of the pack, um, listed as page 48. So the licensing officer who's similar this morning will introduce the report. If there are any questions concerning the report, they can be asked by members and by you guys at that point. So just if there's anything missing or that looks inaccurate. Uh, none of the responsible authorities are present today because you've agreed conditions, so they've withdrawn their representations. Um, the interested parties who have also submitted representations have been invited to attend, but have inform the licensing service that they wouldn't be coming today. Apologies, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, yeah, I'll, I'll shout even louder. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just head straight over to you to outline the application, to respond to everything that's in the report. Members on, uh, and officers will probably have an opportunity for questions from you. We'll then let you sum up the application, if there's any final thoughts you want to leave us with. We'll then take the options as detailed in the report from Shimla before asking you just to wait outside while members take legal advice and come to a decision, which we'll invite you back in and give you later on this morning. So the decision of the licensing committee will be given in accordance with the regulations under the license and that's 2003. At any time during the hearing, members can ask for legal advice, so we can do it either in open session as we are now or closed session where we'll probably just nip into the room next door have a chat, come back in and feedback what that legal advice was. Uh, so it's a public hearing technically this morning, so we are being live webcast, hence the microphones and the little cameras around the room there. Um, but hopefully we shouldn't have anyone else joining us in the room today. <laughs> not that there's not the room, but so hopefully that should be relatively straightforward. Thank you, Chair. Great. Thanks, Sam. Um, uh, so if that's relatively clear, sh Shivna, I'll let you fight with that noise to, uh, to give us a report, please. Thank you, Chair. This report is to consider an application for a new premises license made under the Licence Act 2003. The application was submitted by the Five Lounge Limited on the 22nd of August 2023 in a full copy of the application and plans are attached to that Appendix A of the report. During the consultation period, agreed conditions with the Health Protection Service, the Environment Protection Service and South Yorkshire Police. These conditions can be found at Appendix B. The premises previously held a premises license by another operator. This license has lapsed and the current applicant has offered to place all previous license conditions onto the proposed license if granted to assist in alleviating any concerns interested parties may have. Parties have had sight of these conditions and two local residents, resident objectors subsequently withdrew their objections. 
Copies of these conditions are also attached at Appendix B. The application has been referred to the licensing subcommittee as there remains two unresolved representations by two local residents. Many attempts have been made by officers to resolve the issues and yet remain unresolved. The applicant and local residents have been invited to the hearing. Copies of the notices are attached to Appendix D. The applicant is in attendance and is accompanied by Mr. Mark Platts, who is a landlord. Both objectors have confirmed they will not be attending today's meeting. There are no specific financial implications arising from this application. However, additional costs may be incurred should the matter go to appeal. It is recommended that members carefully consider the representations made and take such steps as the subcommittee consider appropriate for the promotion of license and objectives. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Sheila. Have members got any questions regarding the report at all? Do you have any <coughs> questions on the report? No, no, I'm sorry. And then, so in the absence of the interested parties, it's over to you to state your case. Tell us about this premises, why you wish to open it, but in particular, if you can sort of address the concerns that have been raised by the objectives, that would be extremely helpful to us. So, over to you. If I, if, I'm sorry, if I can talk first, uh, where the landlords of the property, um, this, the, the actual property was licensed. Uh, there was a technical issue um, transferring the license with the 28-day notice which we missed by 12 days, which was probably our fault. Um, we weren't really sure of um, the system at the time. Um, we, we bought the building five years ago um, and renovated it to quite a high standard. We had some, originally had a two o'clock license, which we reduced to half past 12 at the last hearing, which I attended. Um, we had an operator in there, um, what was trading for three years, there's been no issues, um, but they hit a financial problem, which then had to go into liquidation. Um, within that period, between ourselves, uh, our, our office and maybe from the licensing, we weren't sure that there was a 28 day period. Uh, when we found the new tenants and gave them the chance to go into the building to operate, we put an application to transfer it, but we were 12 days late. So it's actually just been, the whole point of this is it would be, would be just being put through a, an admin error really and having to go through the process again. Um, the objectors, obviously the Sheffield Star did a big front page cover about a new license application and I think that's where the objectors maybe came from. Um, which we complained to the Star because it was not a new application in theory, uh, in practice, obviously going through the meeting today, we, it is a new application, because it had already been trading for three and a half years, no issues, and it was a technical issue, it's a bit unfair that they made it into something what it didn't have to be. Um, and as landlords, we try to look after our tenants and help them as much as we can, because they're a new business, they put a lot of energy, a lot of effort into this, and um, it'd be a bit sad if they couldn't really carry on to where we left off or the last, our last tenants left off, to be honest. Um, I, th I think my last point as, a, as landlord is that um, we, we, we have upgraded this building to a very, very high standard on Eccleshall Road. And when we actually took it over, it was quite a, in a bad state. Um, and, it, and it does work as a licensed premises. I mean, our offices are actually next door as well, so it works. We, we, we are there and we monitor most of the things that happen and make sure the locals are happy, the area is cleaned, and the tenants are at a good standard. I think that's basically as much as I can tell, uh, you know, as much as I can do for supporting the application for the new tenants. That, that's, that's great. You've got plenty of chances to come back at the end anyway if there's anything you've missed or anything you wanted to add. But are you happy for me to open this up to questions then now? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine. Right. Uh, Ian, is there anything that you would wish to ask at this stage? Um, not particularly, no. I, um, uh, yes.
just actually just record the music and we're gonna pay for that music license. So um, it's not gonna be loud. We have two small speakers inside. Um, and I think on the application, um, the, you know, the conditions, we have uh, complied with everything, saying that uh, our local actually, uh, neighbors are important for us. So we are not gonna, let's say, yeah, uh, not cause any problem actually for neighbors, not at all. And uh, the it's thing just, is... It's just background music. Oh, yeah. It's just background music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, just a couple of things for me then. Firstly, I, I, I think you said it, but I like to you, you operated the, the premises with a number of with different tenants previously. And I wonder what... what were there any issues at all with residents or complaints during the time that you you previously operated this this premises? No, not not at all. No, it's been operated for three and a half years under a hopper, a banner called Hopper, uh, coffee bar, um, licensed coffee bar. Basically, it's not a pub, it's not a venue. Um, I think the name of the vibe maybe sort of wasn't a great choice by the tenants, but it was their choice. Um, but no, we've had no issues. At all, and it's traded through the whole COVID period as well. And it had an outdoor street license uh, uh, annually uh, uh, applied for and agreed, and there was no con no no issues at all. Now, perhaps a little bit unfair with him sitting on the side of you, but uh, how, how have you? What steps have you taken to ensure that the new tenants are as responsible as, as the previous tenants for the property? Uh, to be honest, they've been trading on temporary licenses since. Uh, July, August, so we've been monitoring it and um, there's been no issues, they've been closing at the right times, there's been no noise issues, there's been no public order issues, which they wouldn't, it's not that sort of place, it's a 20 seater downstairs coffee bar, the 25 seats on the terrace, um, which has got a nine o'clock uh, cut off curfew, no music on the terraces. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm quite confident that the tenants have uh, yeah, you know, are, are going to be good tenants. I think that it's, it's a new venture for them, and I think that's why I've come to support them today, because they're not sure of you know what 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 the, what the system entails today for them, and you know give them some support. But I think they'll be good, and we are quite choosy with our tenants as well. To be honest, and, and just finally from me. If there was an issue, I don't think I know it's a thing that they worry about. Is it a, a means by which you know residents could raise that sort of immediately? You know, is there someone they could contact at the premises if there were issues to try and sort of get those resolved as quickly as possible? Yeah, I mean, from our point of view, we'd always support if they wanted to use as a point of contact, wouldn't be a problem. But the first point of contact would be the tenants. The tenants are there full time. Um, and if there was any issues, they'd be resolved ASAP. And if, if it got past the tenants to us, we would then enforce that as well anyway, because it's our investment at the end of the day. Thank you. Have any more questions? Any more questions from members at all? No. Sam, do you have anything you would wish to ask the applicants? It was just in terms of your experience of you were similar sort of premises before. I think you said he was operating under a ten temporary licence at the minute. Yeah, yeah just... Uh, yeah, it's, well, it's been on temporary licence for the last, I think we've used the 27 days and then we've had to extend it by using a separate licensee. Uh, my, 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 my history is here, I've owned quite a few bars in the city and nightclubs and built quite a few venues and the tenants of them. So we, we, we have got quite a, a good background of knowledge and what things should, you know what people should do and what they shouldn't do i mean nuri and his partner who've come into this as their first venue and we did you know we had other operators looking at this but we we thought they were the right people we've given them a chance um which i think everybody has to give people a chance sometimes um and hopefully they'll they'll, they'll operate it under the the strict conditions that are in place. 
they're not asking for anything out of the ordinary. It's not, they're not asking for anything that's not already been granted. Um, I mean, if you look at the history, it did used to have a two o'clock license when we bought it, and we thought that was far too late for the area. The local residents are quite cool, to be honest. I think a couple of the complaints aren't that local, but the people who are, are really important are very supportive, and um, the, 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 there's no issues, I, I wouldn't imagine. If there was, we would we, we deal with them through the right channels. What sort of venue will it be? Just with it being a new one, it's, it's hard to get a feel for it on the paper. Same, same as it was before, it's, it's, a coffee, it's a coffee bar venue. So it's, it's, it's got a licence, it says food, it says coffee. Um, the days of the traditional pub are very different now. There's a lot more, a bit more cosmopolitan, I would imagine, a bit more European. And um, Mr Rad, who you've listed to be designated premises supervisor, is that your, your business partner? No, the de they, the, the, Nuri's, Nuri's actually going to be well, it will be. He's going to, he's going to uh, do the course for the DPS as well. Oh. So it, it will be all internal. At the moment, they're using a, 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 a member of their staff to be DPS. Oh, right. Okay, okay. And licensing. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, the original license was actually put in my name. I, I was the original licensee, but I transferred it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, obviously, agreed quite a number of conditions with the responsible authorities, which is, is great, really helpful. Um, and you've also volunteered to add on the conditions from the previous license. Um, just wanted to check, obviously, I don't know what the decision's going to be, but should it be granted? There's quite a bit of duplication there, so would you have any issue if I just tidied it up a bit so that you don't have a license with like 100 conditions on? Yeah, I agree. It's, it's just it, going to look... It, it needs to be simplified and tidied up, yeah. Yeah. No problem. Obviously dependent. Thanks. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chip, is there anything you would like to ask? Nothing further, thank you. Then it's actually back to you to sum up the application. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us this morning that you think will be helpful in, in our making a decision on this? You have been fairly clear up to now. But no, I think, I think most of the points have been brought across and hopefully the uh, sensible process will be, you know, we, the licence was already there and if, if, if we hadn't have missed the 12-day period, I don't think any of us would be sat here today because it would have been just carried on as normal. Um, so hopefully it will be a, a, a positive outcome and everybody's happy. If uh, you need to speak to the tenants, maybe he's not spoke enough, but... <laughs> well, is there anything you would like to add? Anything you would like to tell us this morning? No, just I would thank you for being here for us. You have been so supportive when during our application, especially those uh, temporary ones. Uh, I think our landlord just mentioned everything. Locals are important. I know that. I have learned that from my father, from my family. It's important to actually accept, you know, uh, reciprocal things. You should respect, you will see respect. And we have welcomed lots of locals. They have been around when we were doing some preparation, I mean, some changes, and we have told them that what is going to be, and I, I, I actually, I feel that they have been okay with the situation, and we haven't done, during this period, I mean, this two, three months, we haven't done anything. I mean, nobody has been in saying that why or what is this or that, to be honest. So it's kind of respect for locals, and we have got a business to run, so, that's important and not to get any complaint or something like that. Thank you for being here anyway. That's great, thank you. Could we have the options there, please, Shimba? Thank you, Chair. The options over to the committee are one, to grant the premises license in the terms requested, two, to grant the premises license with conditions, and three, to reject the whole or part of the application. Thank you. Thank you. Could, could I now ask you to leave the room with the licensing officer while we take legal advice and come to a decision? Uh, and I suspect on this issue, I would suggest you don't go too far away. I don't think it will be uh, a particularly long time. So. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Please say the decision of the committee is to grant as applied for. You seem to run uh, a well-run premises that doesn't cause problems in the area, and we hope that that remains the case and that your new tenant is successful and your company remains successful going forward. So thank you for your time and the, the best of luck. Yeah, thank you for your support. Much appreciated.
Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for that. Thank you. Just going to say, sorry, Chair, just for the benefit of the recording, mine seems louder than everyone else's. <laughs> um, with the application being granted, so the people that made representations have the right of appeal against our decision. So everyone will be written to following the hearing with the reasons for the decision um, and the finalised conditions that I will just clean up a little bit. Um, so it's within 21 days should they wish to appeal to the Magistrates' Court. Um, and obviously, as the Chair said, if there are any problems, that the licence can come back. So if people come to us with concerns and evidence that the premises are causing an issue, the licensing service can look at it. We might come back to a hearing, um, but just to reassure other people that just because it's granted, it's not necessarily granted forever, obviously. We hope it is run absolutely fine and, and we don't doubt that it will be, but just that mechanism is there if people have concerns. But I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I think I'm just speaking to Schindler as well as the landlords. What we're going to is we're going to cover the license under a um, shadow license. A shadow license. Not a shadow. Oh, instead of because yeah. a shadow is a full he a shadow could lead to another full hearing because people can object again. You go through the same Story process, idea. the same <laughs> admin, and it's it, it is a bit a lot of red tape, and it's quite quite a stressful period for people to deal with. But the other option is um, yeah, it's a notification of interest. Yeah. So if anything happens to the license, you'll be notified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything what's really the issue, we, we will then step in and deal with it straight away. Okay, thank you again for your support.